Things just got really interesting over the break. For the first time ever, in Civilization VI, an AI has declared war on me. And interestingly enough, it was Norway. I don't know, I, I guess uh, Harold has a problem with me for some reason. And actually, it makes a lot of sense because if I look at his agendas, uh, he doesn't like civilizations with a weak navy. Uh, that's me. That is definitely me because I have zero ships, even though I technically... I have, yeah, I've got one coastal city for sure. I could have built a harbor from the very beginning, but I, I chose not to do that. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know what this joint agreement, or this joint war means, because no one else has declared war on me. Uh, agreements, maybe they're in a separate joint war. So I just discovered Norway. You might be like, wait, how the hell did Norway get involved in this? I have no idea, to be honest. I'm thinking Norway must have found us from the other continent, because I've been exploring my own continent, and I haven't found them. So, I don't exactly know what's going down. Not really, but uh, I, I for sure see at least one boat here. And uh, I was actually taking over an archer to deal with these barbarian encampments because there are still so many barbarians in the, the southwest. The southwest is filled because I think there's two encampments. Well, there's a ruin here. There's a ruin for sure here, so that's good. We need to try to get a hold of that. But um, nonetheless, we need, to, we need to build up the army. We gotta build up an army. So I have one swordsman right now. Again, I've been trying to deal with barbarians, but at the same time, I haven't had the health. And then I've got a little bit of housing issues in two of my cities. So in this new city off to the west, as well as Stone Barcelona, which is why I'm trying to build an aqueduct. Okay, so let's go to the next turn and see exactly what happens. Actually, you know what? I will upgrade you to a swordsman. That should be pretty good. And then maybe buying another archer at some point might be a good idea. Uh, I've pretty much just been able to run straight through... I'm guessing most of the city-states are up towards the north. Yeah, here's more city-state city territory. So all the city-states are up here. Um, obviously, the Congo are doing really well. See, my biggest, my biggest fear here, I'm, I'm not super worried about Norway. I mean, a little bit, a little concerned about them. But uh, I'm more concerned that like someone like America or Japan is going to come after me or the Congo. Somebody that is actually a threat uh, and a neighbor on my, on my landmass or continent, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, okay, so we've met a city-state, that's that's good. City-state bonus, very nice, and I do need more housing. Okay, so let's see how they, let's see how they approach this situation here. And uh, I did get up a great rider over the break, because uh, I enacted that back into my government, so we're making great rider points once again, which is good. So I'll probably continue to do that when uh, this theater district is all finished up in this city. That is assuming that I survive here, because uh, I don't know. So I'm going to go right here in the middle of these two. This is actually a great tile for an encampment. Um, obviously, once the city gets up walls, then you're talking about three range attacks, but we don't have that opportunity right now. It's turn 107. We still have a lot of other things to deal with. So you sit there and heal, and um, I should be bringing this guy back home, to be honest, but uh, I'm exploring. I'm exploring a little bit here. Okay, so what is going on here? I just, I'm, I'm again, let's just cross my fingers that no one else declares war on me. Uh, you're willing to give me one gold and ten gold on top of just having open borders. I will accept that deal. My apologies, I had to put a cut there. The game crashed, but that's pretty normal in like super early preview builds. But anyways, uh, yeah, this longbowman decided to pillage my farm, which is which is annoying, very frustrating. Although I don't even know if the city has the housing. Yeah, it doesn't even have that great of housing. It's gonna be at its housing limit really soon. Um, but yeah, we need to take out this long, this this long ship. Or else he's going to be doing that all day to me. Uh, if he wants to approach Madrid, though, that's obviously okay. Because, uh, yeah, I won't have to worry about... I mean, then Madrid gets to attack it itself. The heavy chariot I was building strictly so that I could uh, go attack these barbarians. Because these barbarians are not stopping. I'm actually just going to go back inside of my city and keep healing. Because this is ridiculous. For reals, this is ridiculous. Okay, well, at least, at least while we you know, are dealing with our little war... Uh, I hope that I keep that in quotation marks. Little. It might not be little. It could be really, could be really bad. Okay, so we're going to do two great works of writing. Drinking Alone by Moonlight and uh, In the Mountains on a summer's, on a summer day. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what this stuff is, but uh, that's great. I, I'm very, I am not super literate, I guess. I, uh, well, I think that's a pretty common thing. I think most people kind of know that already. Common knowledge, Drew. Common knowledge, man. Stating the obvious. <laughs> okay, so I should build this temple, but I think I'm going to continue to build up the military for a split second because I am a little bit terrified that America, Japan, or England are gonna, is going to join in. 
because Norway obviously declared, well, we don't know. Norway might have declared war on me because I have no navy. Um, or he could have declared war on me because I have a small military. That's kind of something that all the AIs could get behind and agree with. So I'm going to go with another archer. I think it's only going to take three turns. and that That's pretty much the best thing that we can do right now. Catapult, not really, not really useful in a scenario like this where I don't want to take over cities. So I'm going to stay away from those siege units. Hmm, let's go meet the city-state. There we go. Geneva. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for culture city-states, though. So, you know, if you guys have any culture city-states, uh, let me know. If anyone knows of any culture city-states, right now there's only one, and I'm pretty much going to heavily invest into him, into him as quickly as possible. I'm sure people are already... How many people are trying to influence him? Four. Jeez. Okay, well, at least it's me in America, Congo, and Japan are kind of like, nah, I don't know. All right. What's going on? How much else are you going to plunder? Hey, whoa, 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 what was that? How did you get gold from that? I'm not at war with the Congo, right? Ooh, he is going to pillage the crap out of me if he can keep doing this. I mean, even if it's just lo one... Even if it is just one longbowman, or a uh, long, long boat, I guess. I did see that builder, and I'm coming after you, yo. Just so you know, buddy, I'm coming after you. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a shot here. Wait a second. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The Congo never popped up. I see. Okay. Drew's smoking some crack. Drew is smoking some clear crack because that was just, that was weird. So they never showed me that I was at war with the Congo. It was just the Norwegians popped up. I guess that's why. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The crack is, okay. I, I've got the crack under control. Um, this will be a pretty nice hit here. I didn't even realize. I don't even know if I want to back away from a city like this. I don't think I can. I need to go back to Barcelona. That's scary. Luckily, the Congo are a little bit of ways away from me. Japan is also kind of acting as a buffer zone. The Congo are ideal, though. They are pretty much best case scenario for if another AI were to declare war on us. Congo is the best, at least on our landmass because they're the furthest away uh japan england actually england is threatened by barbarians they're getting ravaged by barbarians i'm a little bit more worried about america which you would think that wait a second america should be upset about what's happening they're supposed to protect their continent right i'm i'm pretty sure you're supposed to protect your continent yeah dude here yes machinery for sure machinery for sure um i'm gonna take you down hopefully we have an archer coming in two turns. Wait, did he pillage his tile? Uh, it, it, he got his health? Uh, wait, that's weird. How did he get his health back? Oh, did he get a promotion? Maybe that's what's up. Okay, well, I'm going to take this guy over here for a little bit of, uh, extra support. And we have to wait. Must occupy a district uh, or wonder with a free slot. So if we build the faith, if we build the temple, we'll get a free <clears throat> free slot. I think I'm going to go back to Madrid and chill here for a little bit. Wait a second. My trader is going to get plundered. He's likely to get plundered. Uh, I don't even know why I'm taking down this barbarian, but I'm supposed to be trying to go after that uh, that builder that was stolen away. I'll try to do that. This guy might be a little bit too far away for for a scenario. Dang. Dang, I'm getting pillaged. Again, pillaging tiles really isn't a big deal for me, though. Um, I'm much more much more concerned with getting districts pillaged. That, that sucks. Okay, good. Okay, okay. That is great news. That is really, really good news. Now, let's just take care of the slinger. I, I hope that they I, I hope that there there did need, there did need to be a little bit of a change there. I hope that both leaders pop up and and say that they've declared war on us, or maybe maybe they did and I was smoking crack. I only saw Norway though, but you know it's fine. So I'm gonna take you down. Hopefully protect my trader from this barbarian. That would be great. And then also hope that. Nobody else is coming this way. Oh, what can I upgrade you to? A knight? Ooh, yes. Okay, that would be really helpful. Yeah, I need to send that heavy chariot back anyways. We clearly need this dude. Drew, we clearly need... Oh, it doesn't even matter. Yep, Japan got it back. 
Okay, well that that's fine. I'm gonna take you back home. I'm gonna take you back home. Let's let's get you along the shores. I'm only making like 11 gold right now, and I really don't like that. I think we need either we need a few things. We need to get our lives together first of all. An aqueduct. An aqueduct would be okay. I'm just looking for housing. Yeah. So granary sounds like a good plan to me. 100% theater or theater square district adjacency bonuses. Uh, we don't have any wonders. So maybe in the future. I hate when we get this Medina quarter because then we have to get three specialty districts. I don't even. I don't think my even even my capital has that. So it's not as good. Gold from each of your envoys at city states. Oh, you know what? That I think I want to do that. But that would mean that I'm I'm. Oh, we don't need any great riders right now. So actually, this is perfect. So I'll put this in the wildcard slot. I don't have any, you know, I don't have any open relic slots for a great rider. So there's no point in me generating more great riders at the moment. Yeah, so we're going to be limited in housing, which kind of sucks. Which really sucks. Is there anything else that's kind of new? I mean, I could take this out if I needed to and include a military policy, which might be a good idea. Plus six city defense. City range strength. But we only have one city with walls. So that's my only kind of concern right now with doing something like that. I guess maybe, maybe doing production for melee and range units. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to move that out of the way. And then, geez, I don't even know if I would need all these economic policies right now. Newly trained builders get two extra. Yeah, because I know I'm going to for sure have to get up a builder to repair all these damn tiles. So there we go. Extra two builds. That would be really useful for me. Okay. So let's hope that... Yes, our trader will be safe. The battering ram's not going to do anything. I think I called it a catapult earlier, but it's fine. Yes, you stay there. And we need to upgrade you to a crossbowman as soon as possible. We also need to place down infrastructure. Somehow, Madrid to Mar Barcelona. Like, that's that should have happened. I had to put another cut there, but my archer just got a promotion, which is great for killing off that Conganese uh, slinger, which is very, very good. Um, I do want to take a, you know, again, I want, I want to take a closer look at the defensive track of these, of this promotion tree. Plus combat strength when occupying a district or a fort. Uh, should I experiment with that a little bit? I feel like let's, ooh, I would, I would probably use volley so much more though. Let's, let's do that. But I, I should maybe maybe experiment with forts a little bit um, okay so I did just enact that awesome policy for the extra uh, action points for builders I think that might be the way that way to go because yeah we need to, we need to fix all this stuff as soon as possible although you know again I like I said we were having housing issues anyways so it's not the worst thing in the world there's a lot of land up here is this the third continent please tell me this is like a third continent okay it is but I don't know how I would get this is Arctica Okay, so this is Arctica, then we've got red. This is very interesting. This is this is also part of the same thing, right? Yes. Atlantis. Atlantis, that is an awesome continent name. I like that. Atlantis. Man, I need to I need to probably settle more in Atlantis and then we start off on Australia. That's that's pretty cool. Um for my fifth city because I did play around with that idea in the last video, I probably want them here next to this river. That's where I'm thinking. Uh, even though it's not the best of spots, I could probably eventually reach out and grab the silver. So I think that's where I'd want to go, but but we'll see. Let's go to the next turn. We'll just try to go to the next turn. You need to heal. Um, we also get machinery in one turn. Hopefully I have enough gold by then. I'm making 20 gold per turn right now. Much, much better than 11. So that's good. I also want to be purchasing a few tiles. Ooh. Do I want to help you at all here? Need more amenities. Why do you need more amenities? Did we have something? We might have had something plundered. Well, this was plundered. But that wasn't... I don't know. Okay, well, we're going to get more amenities anyways. I love this guy right here. Because he's running around with a little uh, paint. Like, he's like a little Bob Ross. He's not Bob Ross. I really, really hope that he's a great artist. We're going to find out here. I, I would lose my mind if Bob Ross is a great artist in uh, Civilization Six, Like, the modern era. But anyways, I'm going to stop right there. Hopefully we deal with the Barbarians, hopefully we survive the Congonese attack and the Norwegian attack. And uh, my apologies for not even realizing the Congo were also at war with me, so this is kind of uh, a little bit stressful. 
I think by the time I upgrade all my archers to crossbowmen, I, I think that most of the world will probably, you know, feel like they shouldn't declare war on me. I mean, that's, again, my only fear is Japan, England, or America deciding, yeah, you know what, those dudes are right, I should probably take uh, little old Philip Felipe, Felipe, Drew Felipe the second down. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.